Hi, today in this video, we'll be talking about expectation of a random variable. In our last video, we talked about what exactly is a random variable, what is the meaning of term probability distribution and cumulative distributions, etc. So today we'll talk about how to find its expectation. So let's start. First of all, for any discrete random variable, let's suppose x be a discrete random variable, which can assume values x1 to xn. So it can take any of these values with the associated probabilities that p1 is equal to probability that x is equal to x1, p2 is equal to probability that x is equal to x2 and pn be the probability x is equal to xn, right? So in that case, expectation of x is simply equal to mu. We also resemble it by the symbol. When we are writing the symbol, we simply are saying that we are talking about expectation. This is equal to summation of xi pi. Let's understand what we are saying is. So first of all, let's suppose we have the variable x that can assume values x1, x2, x3 and so on till xn. We have the respective probabilities that x is equal to xi or which is symbol by pi. This is also equal to p1, p2, p3 till pn. So in this case, when I'm saying expectation, which is also similar to the term mean, is basically equal to summation of the product of the x and their respective probabilities. That is x1, p1, x2, p2. Over here, this is x3 into p3, xn, pn. So, when we are taking its product and we are simply summing these all, we'll get our expectation. So, therefore, we can elaborate this term as that mu is equal to x1, p1 plus x2, p2 plus x3, p3 plus so on till xn, pn. So, this is simply our expectation of a discrete random variable right now let's talk about continuous random variable that how can we find uh, expectation for a continuous random variable now let x be a continuous random variable whose pdf is f resembled by a function f x right we already know that for continuous random variable we don't have point probabilities we have the probabilities for particular intervals right so this is simply the probability function for the variable x right in that case the expectation of x or mu is also equal to integration of x fx dx with respect to minus infinity to infinity right so what we are saying is we are simply multiplying x with the function and then we are integrating it with respect to its limits that is minus infinity to infinity and if the function is, let's suppose this f of x is valid from 0 to 2, in that case, will these limits will change to 0 to 2. That we will see later on uh, when we'll be taking an example. But this is a general format of solving or, uh, or finding an expectation for a continuous random variable. Right? Integration, we all know how to find. So how is this related to this? Simple. Generally, for discrete random variable, we have summation. But when we have intervals, we take integration. Integration means summing at each particular point because we don't know 1, 1.11, 1, 1.111 and so on. So it will integrate or it will sum the probabilities multiplied with x at each particular point in x. So for that we are taking this integration because it will sum up for all the possible values of x, right, in the interval. Now, we have some properties uh, of expectation. So, first property says expected value of a constant is the constant itself, right? So, for any constant c, expectation, expected value of c is equal to c. That is expectation of constant is also, always equal to constant. Like expectation of 2 is always equal to 2, right? Second, expectation of the sum or difference of two random variables is equal to the sum or difference of their expectations. So we are simply saying if we want to basically find the expectation of sum of two variables, then for them, let's suppose the two variables are x and y, then expectation of x plus minus y is equal to expectation of x plus minus expectation of y. So we are saying over here that if expectation of x plus y 
is equal to expectation of x plus expectation of y similarly expectation of x minus y is equal to expectation of x minus expectation of y this is something very similar concept we have already discussed in mean also arithmetic mean this is a similar thing third expectation of a constant times a random variable is the constant times its expectation that is let's suppose see we are constant constant means a number 1 2 3 4 something or maybe it can be 28 30 anything is constant and x is a random variable then expectation of constant into the variable that is expectation of cx is equal to constant multiplied by expectation of x right so this can we say is something if we uh, so basically if we want we can club this and uh, not this and this we can also basically we can club yeah we can club this and this how if i ask you what is the expectation of ax plus b so very easily you can write that this is equal to a into expectation of x plus b because you know if you are summing it up you can take expectation expectation of b is, is always b from here and this expectation of ax is always a into expectation of x this is also the linear expectation right now let's discuss an example we are given a probability distribution where we are given the values that x can assume and the probability of x equal to x so we are given certain questions first question states okay uh, first of all find expectation of x so expectation of x what is it we know that let's divide it expectation of x is equal to summation for discrete its xi pi so here there are four so it will be x1 p1 plus x2 p2 plus x3 p3 plus x4 p4 we are taking because there are only four observations or four values that x can assume so this is equal to minus 1 into 1 by 3 this plus 0 into 1 by 6 plus 1 into 1 by 6 plus 2 into 1 by 3 so when we do it this is 0 this is minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 plus 2 by 3 right so when we do it we know this is simply equal to now half question number two states find expectation of x plus 2 now this we already know is always equal to expectation of x plus 2 so similarly this is equal to half plus 2 which is equal to 5 by 2 right also, I'll, okay, I'll, for this particular thing, I'll show you that how it's equal. See, it's simple. So, if you want this expectation of x plus 2, this will always be like this. Summation of xi will become x plus 2 into pi, right? So, this is always equal to x1 plus 2 into p1 plus x2 plus 2 into p2 plus x3 plus 2 into p3 plus x4 plus 2 into p4 so can we say this is similar to x1 p1 plus 2 into p1 plus x2 p2 plus 2 into p2 plus x3 p3 plus 2 into p3 plus x4 p4 plus 2 into p4 so clubbing this 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 and this this is this clubbing all this what do we get this is simply expectation of x and since 2 is common therefore we have p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus p4 and we know some of our probabilities equal to 1 so this is expectation of x plus 2 right so this is equal to similarly our half oh, sorry half plus 2 that is 5 by 2 third question expectation of 4x again we know expectation of 4x is equal to 4 into expectation of x which is equal to 4 into half which is equal to 2 right so this is basically our expectation for any probability distribution now let x be a random variable with a continuous distribution having pdf f of x is equal to 2x for uh, uh, 
uh, x lying between 0 and 1 otherwise it's 0. Now we know that to find expectation of x the simple formula for expectation of x is equal to integration between limits minus infinity to infinity x into f of x dx. Again for this function so if you want to integrate this so putting in the formula minus infinity to infinity this is x into 2x dx right. Now we know it's 0 otherwise and in only limit 0 to 1 this is equal to 2x. So let's not write it as 2x, we will write it as f of x, right. So now from interval minus infinity to 0, we know this is x but f of x is 0 dx. So this becomes 0 plus from 0 to 1 this becomes x into 2x dx, right. Then from 1 to infinity this becomes x into 0 dx because we know the value is 0. So now from here we can simply say this is 0, this is 0. So this is simply 0 to 1 x into 2x dx. So this is integration of 0 to 1 is simply equal to 2x square dx. When we will integrate this, we know that integrating this will be 2 into x square will be x cube by 3. We are putting it in limits of 1 and 0. So this will be simply equal to 2 by 3. Right. And next let's find our second question. That is expectation of x plus 2. Again this is expectation of x plus 2. So which is equal to 2 by 3 plus 2. And that is equal to 2 plus 3 to the 6 upon 3. 8 by 3. Similarly third question expectation of 5x this again we know it's 5 into expectation of x so this is 5 into 2 by 3 which is equal to 10 by 3 right so this is how generally we find expectation for continuous distribution and how can we use the general terms to find these general properties to find these expectations like plus 2 5x so we can use these general properties that helps us to easily calculate certain things Right. I hope you like this video. Do subscribe this channel for more videos. In our next video, we will be talking about variance of the random variable. Thank you.